Today we will be making an acrylic paint mandala. You need acrylic paints, nice colourful ones and a white one. You need some tools or implements that will create the dots, variety of sizes. You need a palette to put the acrylic paints on and you also need a piece of black paper. Now what you are going to do is do a dot in the centre and then using the variety of different tools that you have to create the dots you're just going to create them around that central dot and remembering that you need to use eight you go in systems of eight or lots of eight you can do whatever patterns that you like just remember to make sure that you load your tool up with enough paint that it's going to create nice clean dots. Also remember that each of the tools that you use need to have very definite dots. So for example, one of these things I'm using a, an eraser at the end of a pencil and mine was had a couple of little blobby bits on it so it wasn't the most perfect thing to use. And also my skewer stick it actually wasn't that neat. It had a few little splintery bits on it. So this is my very first time doing one of these and I learnt quite a bit when I did it. I learnt when I used the pencil tip that I needed to change the pressure of which I put the dots on the paper. So it's going to be a learning curve. Your first one might not be perfect, which mine certainly is not. But what I'll do, I'll leave you to watch how the patterns that I've made. You don't have to do it exactly the same as mine. You can have lots of fun. And I would love to hear what you thought of doing this activity. Don't forget if you are liking these videos to encourage me to make more for people to learn new techniques. I'd love for you to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So what I'll do is speed up the process and show you me finishing off my acrylic paint mandala. I've just continued to go through this, turning my page as I do it, defining a few more of those little dots, they haven't worked out perfectly so I make sure I load my paintbrush, or my paintbrush, I make sure I load my little dot tool and put, put a bit more paint on it to try and make nice defined dots.
Okay, not quite finished, but almost finished. I'm, as I've actually done this process, and remember it's my first one, I've actually learnt a little bit along the way. It's very important to control that pressure and not use too many colours too. These colours go nicely together. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, probably encourage me to do a few more. See you next time.